Prior to this past weekend, not many Jamaicans would have known of Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries. The church is now the subject of various media reports following incidents that unfolded on the church grounds, which led to the loss of three lives and the hospitalization of others. The man who heads the congregation is Kevin Othniel Smith. In our next report, Carl Francis sheds some light on Smith as well as Pathways International. Self-proclaimed prophet Kevin Smith has been warning his followers about the end of time and of catastrophic occurrences. Prepare yourself! For you are here this day hearing me. But you hear me with your ears and your hearts are not convinced. But what will have come? That which is already set in motion. That which will come upon not only Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and thereafter Haiti and thereafter Florida, thereafter New York City, thereafter Los Angeles and thereafter the world. Hear me and hear me well. It is a time of a great woe and another 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 woe and seven woes have been declared against us. Hear me, people of the earth. The time has come when they that came down have said that they are taking revenge upon the heads of the sons of the divine one. Therefore they will expel us from the earth. Called by followers, Excellency Kevin Smith, he has, over time, been making a number of prophetic declarations. Through the word of knowledge, the Lord has perceived me to see untold thousands of people will be vaporized. Jamaica, your hour has come and now is. Your hour where you are being saved. I stand in your altars and see that they are defiled. So my word has come to judge both those who profess to be and are not. For in darkness you participate in evil and wickedness and you spilled innocent blood. As hatred has been rocked, so shall you be shaken. And the designer have spoken when this nation is shaken. The land will rent in a certain section and it will rent a bridge, massive bridge will collapse, and roads that have be been built that are new will have five meters split in the distance that the land has been ripped from one to another. And you will know that the prophet has spoken for this word that has been declared over you and it shall come to pass. And you will say, how can this be that the mountain that was once stood before you is no more? But you'll know that I, the Lord, declare it and so it is established that you will come to your knees and realize that I've called you to myself. But you have turned from me, from the path of truth and from the path of life. And you have turned to follow other gods and you have turned to believe what they have spoken. Ah, ah, I hold you in derision. But my people... I will walk with you through your dark hour. I will overshadow you and I will keep you safe. If you trust me, I will not disappoint you and I will not let you down. Walk before me. On October 15, 2021, he urged the followers to, quote, leave Babylon system which is about to fall. On October 16, 2021, he started documenting on his Facebook page prophecies of planes falling from the sky and boats sinking. On Sunday, October 17, he posted a message on his Facebook page which stated, quote, all members of Pathways baptized under my hands only must be present at church on October 18, 2021. Instructions were also given that members' cell phones be switched off and left at home wrapped in aluminum foil. 
At about 7 on the evening of October 17, the police, acting on a report made by a member of the church, swooped down on the property. A congregant here, a member of this church, who had been injured apparently when she chose to disobey some instructions given to her by, by the, the leaders of this organization, uh, reported to the police that she had been injured and other information that led us to believe that the persons here were at risk. We're aware that uh, 144 congregants had been told to come here, uh, to meet here. And on responding to that report from the person who was injured and coming here, the first teams of police that arrived were shot at. And so they waited on reinforcements to come. Uh, we were very concerned that some form of uh, ritualized killing was going to take place here. And so we did an entry. We found that there were a couple of people who had been injured um, by, by other members of the church. And um, we secured the, the premises held the people i think there were about uh, some 14 children was it 14 children there and we have 31 uh, women now so we see that as a rescue of these children based on what we saw when we came in that uh, there were there are a cult cult like behaviors and cult like uh, a setup that we have seen here when everything settled, three persons were dead and three hospitalized. The pastor of the church, wearing very little, was handcuffed before being taken away. Members of the church, clad in white, were directed to climb into the back of trucks provided by the police before they were whisked away. Investigations are now underway into the death of two members within the sect, as well as the involvement of a policewoman reported to be a member of the church. There was a policewoman here, and we are processing that as well. Do you have any knowledge of any other members of the security forces that's a member of this congregation? We're, we're, we're aware of a couple other people who may be a member of the, the um of the congregation based on what we're seeing inside and so on and of course more information is coming in because of what happened last night what? but what is known about pathways international kingdom restoration ministries of montego bay and the man who heads it a search on the internet revealed the following kevin othneil smith is the head of pathways international located in the heart of montego bay st james he is reportedly a certified psychotherapist and counselor. Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries is described as a revolutionary ministry boasting membership of 1,200 faithful followers. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.